Going to the Maxcom 6E for the receive part of the setup. It's as deaf as a post. That's 3 microvolts at the moment and that's as good as it will receive at. So whether or not there's a fault or whether it's just a tune up, that's we're going to find out. It's certainly totally unusable as deaf as it is. So the first port of call is the, f the first receive one is transformer 5 and that's there. And that has brought it up. I'm just going to switch my tone off because it does help the sign ad meter on this setup. Sometimes the notch filters are better than others. Just turn that down now. I'm going to have to do something in the wrong order here. It's possible the detector is so far out. And we'll put the camera on for that. So I'm going to start with the detector, which is that one there. I've put this, a huge signal on the signal generator. I've actually got three volts on the signal generator. I'll just switch the other camera on so you can see the oscilloscope. And we're looking for that largest possible signal. I've got a feeling that that's uh, well out. No, I'm wrong. It was actually spot on. Right, we'll go back to where we were. That's brought it up considerably. Yeah, it's just been faffed around with then by the sounds of it. So I'm backtracking on those two. I've gone back to those three times and we've now got um, actually 0 0.6 of a microvolt. So the radio is now usable. So the next coil is 113. No, it's not. 7. Another improvement. Every time I get improvement, I back off the attenuator on the signal generator. So let's go through those again. I'll turn the tone off just to see if it helps. Turn back on for that one. So you see how that's been meticulously tuned. I'm going to give it one final run through. Turn the tone off for that first one. Turn on for that one.
Okay, well, I mean, it's on the edge of acceptability, that. That's, um, well, it's 0.3 of a microvolt, and the radio... Let's see what the manufacturer says it's supposed to do. It says... Less than one microvolt for 20 decibels. That's what it says. So, we'll switch to one microvolt. We'll take the tone off. It's, it's actually far, it's about 0 0.7, so it, although by some standards this isn't the hottest receiver in the world, it's well beyond what the manufacturer says it will do. Okay, well that's brought that from 3 microvolts to about 0 0.5, so that's a vast improvement. Uh, the next thing to do on receive, because we did the detector with you, is to set up the S meter. So I'm going to put an S9 signal on the radio, which is 100 microvolts, and see what the S meter reads. Well, it reads plus 10. Some of these are adjustable, some of these aren't. This one is. There's an added preset there on the meter. Sometimes it's on the board, sometimes there isn't one at all. Sometimes it's tacked on the meter. So I'm just going to adjust that so I've got S9, which I've now got. And by the way, we always do this with RF gain at full. You know, obviously, if we turn that down, it's, I've now got S2. You know, you, you tune these up with the RF gain at full, of course. Right. Set the squelch. I've turned the signal generator off. I'm going to advance the squelch to the threshold. I switch the generator on. That's coming at one microvolt, that's fine. Now I'm going to turn the squelch to full. And then we'll check where that comes in. comes in about one but that's all right if I needed to adjust the squelch which is the only thing I've not really had to adjust on this is the preset there which is just hiding under that bit of wiring just there and it's RV 101 and that concludes the Maxcom 6E and then we'll put it back together and we'll try it on the air.